There's no gatekeepers now. The fences are down. If you're talented and if you can connect with an audience, you don't need the industry leader to market you and to put you in a place to be successful. Now, in this information age, you can create your own market. As, a, as an old school traditionalist, you know, I think it allows some people in the business that, you know, from my old school mentality, don't belong in the business. But then that's an outdated thinking, you know, like, it's our business. You don't belong here, kid. Bullshit. I got, I got a YouTube channel with 100,000 subscribers. What do you got? Well, I got to wait on this guy to call me and book me on this show. Oh, okay. You know. One of the most successful wrestlers on the independent scene is 30-year-old Sammy Callahan. Sammy actually made it to a top promotion in 2012, and like MVP, after a few years felt unsatisfied and requested his release. How high is the ropes here? Are they like... Yeah. Are they normal? Okay. Yeah, they're normal, I'd say. In Sammy's case, he was feeling underutilized and believed he could achieve more on the indie circuit, a move that would have been career suicide 10 years ago. You left there, and you're bigger now than ever. Yeah. It's almost like that spurred you on. Oh, yeah, man. It, like, it made me cool. It, like, works into that whole Desperado character. Like, I'm not complacent sitting around a performance center collecting a really, a really good paycheck. I want to work for all my money. I didn't stick around and, like, try to wait it out. I knew I was worth more than I was being used at them, so I wanted to go out and show them. Sammy's success is well known, but not everyone's a fan. When veterans of the industry talk about the cocky new breed of indie wrestlers, they often use the phrase, Sammy and friends. Sammy's this guy that a lot of people have labeled, you know, even, even in a negative sense sometimes when people are talking shit, like Sammy and friends. Yeah. You know, like this, this generation of wrestlers being like, you know, led by or inspired yeah. by Sam. There's always going to be the, that negative backlash when you're successful, you know? Oh! And whether you like it or not, Sammy's been successful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. And Sammy is kind of like a leader. He has a lot of influence with a lot of talented young guys in the business. When you're in demand like Sammy too, there's gonna be issues, you know? You know, I remember when I was coming up, it really wasn't possible to be an unknown indie guy and make a living. And now it is. You know, you can work domestically and internationally, and maybe you're not gonna get rich, but you're a professional wrestler.